Hello, and welcome back to a Trash Book Toy Reviews, where once a week we take a closer look at one of the items in my collection, ranging from the cute and cuddly to the deliciously monstrous. Today we're taking a look at the little guy before us, the Snow Leopard from Papo. So just as far as some general information on snow leopards in real life goes, they are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list, unfortunately. They are native to the mountain ranges of Central and South Asia, preferring alpine and subalpine biomes. And they are the, actually the smallest of the living big cats, at an average of around 3 to 5 feet, with almost half of this consisting of their long, floofy tail. Before we get into the meat of this review, just a refresher for those coming back or for those new here, I look at figures for my reviews in three core categories, the sculpt and detail, the color and paint applications, and finally the articulation or posing. So let's get right into this first section with the sculpt and detail. As far as sculpt and detail is concerned, you can see that this guy is beautifully done on his face. Now snow leopards have a little bit more of a wide face compared to a lot of the other big cats, and I really like how well this is captured. Despite the scale, everything is in beautiful, beautiful detail, at least up here on the face. The ears are nicely sized, the fur looks beautiful. Just moving down the body as well, you can see the way that the body folds around itself with the fur doesn't look unrealistic, it doesn't look like skin wrinkling, it definitely looks distinctly like fur, which is really nice on this guy. See his arms, you can see just how muscular these things are as they're moving around. Even if they're small, it does not mean that they lack any of that strength that the big cats are known for. Going towards the back, you can see the shoulder blade up here. It doesn't look shrink wrapped, it just looks like it's emphasizing the bone moving which is very beautifully done. Moving across the back, again, the fur is very, very well done. I think towards the top is where it's weakest, but especially towards the bottom where you can see it fraying out, it's really, really nice. Going down to the tail especially, the sculpt on this is beautifully done. It really captures the fluffy look of the tail, especially at this small scale size. I think I'm gonna have to give it a four because though I think it can be done better, this is definitely the best snow leopard I've seen on the market nowadays. And at this size, and for how much I paid for this, something like $10 at the time, this is just, I could not ask for more. It is so well done. As far as color and paint applications, I definitely can't be quite as kind on it. You can see the face is painted up really beautifully. The eyes are well done, especially at this size scale, and he has that classic eyeliner look that the snow leopards actually have in real life. I think it's adorable. I really like it. But going down the body, it gets only weaker and weaker. You can see we have no color on the nails at all, which I could forgive for them being retractable and just being under this fluff. But you can see this patterning up top here is just... It's just so basic. I mean, if you've seen actual snow leopards, they have this very beautiful spotted print, very similar to what you see on something like a jaguar or a leopard, where it's, you know, I wanna say kind of popped out or like flowing almost. Especially when you get towards the back, it just looks very chaotic. Some snow leopards, if you look up patterns, do have this kind of splotchy lined look as you can see on the very back of him. But it just looks very artificial on this figure. I definitely don't think it's the worst I've ever seen, but it's just not amazing. I do really like this counter shaded look on him though. It is very realistic for what you see in actual snow leopards. They're this very nice grayish color on top, almost like a beigey gray, but they are very light underneath and I like how all this is captured. And there is a little bit of, I think it's dry brushing, that just adds a tiny bit of that beige grayishness to it that brings it to life. Looks like an actual animal and it's really well done there. I just really don't like the patterning the way that they've done it on here. So I'm going to give it a 2. It is the most striking feature on the animal and the fact that it only looks vaguely reminiscent of a snow leopard as far as its pattern is concerned. It's nice, but I really would expect more at this point, especially from a company like Papo and especially considering the sculpt. The sculpt is so wonderful. The fact that they got so lazy about the paint is just so depressing. But let's move on to the final category here with the pose. As far as our final category here with the pose, I actually quite like the way that this guy is posed. I like the way that it's this inquisitive and yet possibly hunting. It's very open to interpretation, but not in a blank kind of way. Like he's definitely in motion, he's definitely up to something, but he could be investigating something. Maybe he heard a noise and he's just curious what's going on. Or like I said, maybe he saw something that looks tasty around the corner. I like the way that it's posed in a way that looks very lively and active but doesn't restrict you to one idea or another. It's very open to what you might want to use it for. And the face, though blank, is nice and expressive, in my opinion at least. I definitely don't think he looks mean enough to be on the hunt, but I quite like it. 
I'm gonna give this guy a four. I think that there are better poses as far as these things are concerned, but this is very nice. I'm definitely not too harsh about it. Finally, just as far as extra things go, we are just taking a look here at the tag. There's not really a whole lot going on here. I believe this is written in Arabic, so I don't know if that's the origin of the product itself. I know that Papo is a French company, so not exactly sure what's going on there, but you can see, nothing crazy. We got a little yellow dot, that's it. So just as far as sizing is concerned, snow leopards in real life are around 3 to 5 feet or so. Putting this guy in about 1 scale or 1 to 12 inches, where he is measuring about 6 inches from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail all curled out. Just to give you some comparisons against some other figures, here is the PNSO Winter Wilson for just an oddball start. The Papo Tiger, this one was released again I think around the same time. The Collecte Smilodon. The Safari Grey Wolf and the Schleich Cheetah. So again, just some general size comparisons against some models you might have in your collection. So just to close out this review, my little snow leopard here is taking home a four, a two, and a four across the three main categories, which leaves us with a final score of three. I think that is great for this guy. We definitely can get better as far as snow leopards are concerned, but this did it pretty well. You know, I'm not unhappy to have him in my collection, but again, I'm really excited to see where companies go in the future, especially something like Collect Day, or even maybe a re-release from Paper with an updated paint job. Let's see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me for today's review of the Papo Snow Leopard. Definitely subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. I usually talk about giant monsters, dinosaurs, giant robots, things like that, but I do touch on contemporary animals now and then. Definitely leave a comment down below if there's something in particular that you are looking forward to or that you want me to talk about. I was originally planning on doing something a little bit bigger, a little bit more exciting, no offense to Little Snow Leopard here, but unfortunately I have actually been sick for the past week and just didn't have the time to put something like that together. Together, so fingers crossed that we get the chance coming up in March. Check out my socials if you'd like. I have a card link in my bio or in the description below, but you can also always check out my Instagram at Trashbug Toys. I just post random toy tie-in photos and all that stuff. Anyways, thank you guys so much and take care.